What is up? And welcome back to Radio Row. Will Decker from Los Angeles Football Network. Our co-host Ryan Anderson in the cut. We got a very special guest in the house. University of Pittsburgh defensive tackle draft prospect number twelve on Mel Kuyper's big board, Mr. Kalaja Canty. How you doing, bro? I'm doing great, man. How y'all doing? Thanks for having me, man. Doing great, dude. We're honored to have you, man. You, I, we do the draft process pretty big at LA Football Network. You're a guy we tabbed that we really wanted to come on the show. Little yeah. do we know, we're working it out here on Super Bowl Radio Row. So it's very cool. We're going to talk about your pick career. We're going to talk about you know what's going on training-wise. But I always like to start this off with the draft process. What pushed you to the game of football? Do you have like a distinct memory or an instance where you became a, a football player, a fan of the game? Uh, football is a big thing. Um, growing up in Miami, uh, if you don't play football, then it's like, what are you doing? And like, and, um, I just started at four, and I loved everything. So um, since my first day of um, playing football, I just always wanted to play football. My mom ain't never had to force me to go to practice or wake me up. Or I just wanted to play football. Dude, and I mean, yeah, that sounds like just about everybody that is big fans of the game. Have you always been you a D-lineman? Uh, my first year, I started off at running back. I was the biggest one on the team. Oh, nice. And then, um, I gained some weight over over the summer. Ended up going to defensive tackle. Oh, right on. That was it. Cool. The high school scene in Miami is crazy for high school football. Which high school did you go to, and were you guys competing for the likes of you know state championships and titles down um, in South Florida? I went to the powerhouse, you probably know, um, public school, Miami Northwestern. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, we had to compete with teams like Miami Central, Miami Norland. Uh, Miami Carroll City, uh, my, uh, Miami Booker T. Washington, those type of teams we had to compete with to uh, get to the get to the state championship. Yeah, the high school, the Friday Night Lights, those are some yeah. of the most fun times you'll have yeah. as any any level of football. It comes to your recruiting process. You can choose, you know, a couple different places you can go. What made Pittsburgh the final choice for you at the end of the day when it came to playing your four years in college? Um, I think Pittsburgh stood out to me. Um, coach Partridge, Coach Charlie Partridge, my defensive line coach. He came to visit me and um, he he told me he didn't like me at all. Like he, he loved me. Oh. <laughs> that kind of that kind of caught my attention. And then I ended up getting up there like two weeks later on a visit, and it was everything that he told me. And um, it, it was it was it, I felt like I was on the team already. Um, it was a lot of love, a lot of genuine people, a lot of great people in Pittsburgh. I mean, I went in the summer, so the weather was great. Yeah, yeah. I didn't I didn't have a, I, I didn't have a clue of um, how cold it'll be, but. I felt I felt like I was at home. Nice, man. Well, there's a, a pretty good uh, defensive tackle from Pitt, Aaron uh, Donald. Yeah. Well, yeah. A great defensive you know, <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I think probably the best to do Goat. it. Yeah. What's it like, uh, you know, it, did, did he show up around uh, campus? Did he? Um, I think I've seen him uh, more than anybody. Uh, right on. Like, every day he's there working out. Uh, it's, it's like he, he go to school there. Like still, because every 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 season or off season, he's there working out. Has he uh, imparted imparted anything to you, or uh, have you learned anything from him specifically? Um, I spoke to him a couple of times. Uh, most of the times, we were just like working. We both um, got our goal and what we want to do. Just there for work. But uh, majority of the time, I talk to him. He he's a, he's a great mentor, great guy. Um, he um, let me know some things that I. He told me some things I should know and what not to, and you know, he gave me a heads up. Right on, right on. There's a couple of good uh, tackles uh, playing on Sunday. What are, what are your thoughts on uh, those two? Uh, there's some great defensive tackles playing Sunday. Uh, my my game play who I like to watch is Javon Hargrave. Oh, okay. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. He was, uh, yeah. He he he's he's, he's awesome. Yeah. Uh, I like how he work his hands and he. He's a, he's very fast and explosive. I, I kind of I kind of like watching him play. Cool. So you're taking this next step to the NFL draft. The preparation for the combine, the draft itself, it's big stuff, man. Where are you training at, and who are you training with when it comes to preparing yourself for the 2023 NFL draft? I'm training down on Frisco, Texas, uh, Sports Academy. Yeah. With um, Coach um, Brian Mack McCall. We've heard of him. Yeah. Um, he's a great guy, a great speed coach, great trainer, everything. Um, and everything's going well. It's awesome to hear, man. Is there like a specific time or something you're testing for, like bench press or what's what's one of the categories you're looking to improve most when you're coming to the combine? Uh, we'll we'll find out at the combine. We don't know, we don't know yet, but we'll find out at the combine. I love it, man. And uh, any teams you've talked to already in the process? Uh, you don't have to disclose this if you don't want to, but. Um, yeah, I talked to a few teams. Uh, they reached out. 
but mostly like questionnaires and stuff like that. Nice. Nothing, nothing in particular. Absolutely. And then what type of system do you see yourself succeeding in when it comes to the NFL? Like, uh, is it 3-4? Uh, is it a 4-3? Three, or is it... I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a true three tech, so I'll say a, a four three, um, kind of a get up the field pass rusher. And if I got to play the run, I'm going to play the run. Awesome. And then you have a tailback, Israel Abinaconda, that played for you guys as well. Yeah. What can you tell us about him? Because he's going to be testing his name in the NFL draft, too. Yeah, that's that's my boy Izzy. Uh, yeah. He's going he gonna to wake a lot of people up during come combine time. He's going to wake a lot of people up. Uh, he's a sleeper. Awesome, man. Well, we are here for the Super Bowl. Kansas City Chiefs going against the Philadelphia Eagles. I know you're a Hargrave guy. Who are you going with when it comes to the Eagles or the Chiefs? I got to go with the Eagles. I, Eagles? I, like how they, I like how they deep the line and their defense just get out to the quarterback. Beast. Chris Jones is on, on the other fire. side, though. Chris Jones is pretty yeah, Chris good. Chris Jones is having a yeah. great year, uh, 17 and a half sacks. So he's going crazy, but I got to go with the Eagles. Eagles. As a unit. As a unit, as a man. Unit. They get, they're so deep at every position, man. Yeah. Like, they have no holes in their roster. I really like what Philly brings to the table. I'm taking the Chiefs just because I think Mahomes needs this for his legacy, uh -huh. as well as Andy Reid. It's going to be a fun matchup either way, yeah. though. Sunday can't come soon enough. Kalijah Canty, man, thank you so much for coming on the show, bro. We really appreciate it here at LAFB. Thank you guys for having me, man. Absolutely. LAFB, we are out.